Yakwe from the Marshall Islands. I have arrived safely here in my 157th country. It's one of the most stunning places I've ever seen. And believe it or not, it feels like I'm right back home in the United States. During Super Bowl, like, a lot of people tend to skip work or, you know, make up excuses just to go to the bar or, you know, visit their families. So you just watched the Super Bowl? Yeah. Tom Brady's a legend. Huh? Tom Brady's a legend. I walked into a supermarket today and I immediately found my comfort zone. Cheerios, Raisin Bran, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I ate these like every single day as a kid. Bugs root beer. <laughs> this is so funny. There's still guys here. It's like the water at Sam's Club. Great. What up, home? When you travel all over the Pacific Islands, it's so nice to come to Marshall and see all these American products. I'm seriously going nuts right now. Everyone in this country speaks fluent English. with American accents and slang. I don't know, man, it is what it is. Their favorite sport is basketball. The only accepted currency is US dollars. Their favorite beer is Bud Light. Their outlets are Americanized, just like their gas stations. Mobile, very American. They use miles, Fahrenheit, and feet. Yeah, I'm five foot seven. I actually think you're five five. <laughs> <laughs> their TV stations include Fox News, ESPN, and Cartoon Network. There's a large American military base on one of the islands. About one third of the Marshallese people have migrated to the US and their school system follows the red, white, and blue. My name is Jeanette Drew and I am from the US. Uh, my position is the elementary principal slash classroom teacher. We follow the Common Core state standards. So we have social studies, we do American history, our math programs from the US, and all of our English programs are as well. But the Marshall Islands is not a US state like Hawaii or an overseas US territory like Guam, Puerto Rico, or American Samoa. It's an independent sovereign nation recognized by the UN, which gained independence in 1986. So you might be wondering, why does the Marshall Islands have such deep ties to America? Following the end of World War II, the US took military and administrative control of the Marshall Islands from Japan. In 1983, the Marshall Islands signed the Compact of Free Association, which is an agreement establishing the relationships between the US and three Pacific Island nations, Palau, Micronesia, and the Marshall Islands. As part of the deal, the US provides $70 million a year supporting health, education, and infrastructure in exchange for full international defense authority. That's why the entire Marshall Marshall Island of Kwajalein is a U.S. military base. It's also why I am able to permanently settle and work here without a visa, and likewise, Marshallese citizens can do the same thing in the U.S. I haven't been to the States in about six months, and it's really cool to feel so at home here in the Marshall Islands. And the reason I made this video is because I feel like a lot of Americans have either never heard of the Marshall Islands before, or they have no idea what's happening here. So I basically just wanted to put it on the map and let all my fellow Americans know that there is an amazing place in the Pacific Ocean that feels just like home. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world. It's electric, it's sexy, it's tasty, it's confusing, but above all, it's futuristic. The Japanese are innovators. They somehow figured